single pin like this could be making you hundreds of dollars every single month. Hi, I'm Gia and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can scale your income to $10,000 every single month using Pinterest. You'll be able to do this even if you have a brand new account using the exact strategy that made me $14,000 in one month with a couple of viral pins. See, when I was casually using Pinterest around two years ago, I would repost pictures and get millions of views per pin that always consisted of thousands of comments asking, where can I buy this? Where do I get this? Where is the link for this? And it genuinely pains me to think about how much money I missed out on from not putting affiliate links in any of those pins. Now that I'm older and significantly smarter, I've mastered the art of monetizing all of my Pinterest accounts in multiple different niches, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same. Firstly, let's get into to the basics. We need to understand Pinterest to know exactly how to leverage the stats in order to make the most amount of money. So if you didn't know this, there's currently 450 million people using Pinterest every single month. So to this day, Pinterest is one of the absolute best free traffic methods you can use, especially if you don't want to be a social media influencer or have your face all over the internet. Another important statistic you should know is that over 76% of these users are women. So we know that the odds would be in our favor if we decided to promote a product that was specifically targeted towards women. Also, with the knowledge that Pinterest is a photo-based platform, we know that the highest performing products are probably going to be aesthetic and visually appealing. So now that we're equipped with this information, we can get right into the first step, which is to sign up for the perfect affiliate programs. So considering that over 76% of the users are female, we know that we should be focusing on feminine products, right? So we need to have a niche in mind to attract a very specific audience because just targeting women is very broad. So we could easily go for something like fashion, skincare, hair care, recipes. Even the parenting niche or interior design is a really good one. Basically any female dominated niche that you know you'll be able to find aesthetic pictures for. Don't overthink this because you can always rebrand later down the line. The important thing is to just get started. So brainstorm a few ideas of what you wanna promote and those are gonna be your three niches. And if if they happen to be related like skincare, hair care and cosmetics, you could go ahead and group them all together. If not, just pick one and we can move into the next part, which is finding programs that have products in your niche. So to do this, you're going to do a quick Google search for best affiliate programs in your niche. And this should provide you with a whole bunch of results from Google with websites that have affiliate programs that you can sign up for in your niche. Regardless of whatever niche or theme you've chosen, I strongly recommend Amazon Partner Program as one of the must have affiliate programs in your list because it's a very well known online marketplace. So we know that it's trusted and reliable and it has a huge range of products that you can promote. I also recommend that you sign up for Impact Radius and Awin. These are both huge affiliate marketplaces that you can find a whole bunch of products in every single niche and they typically have a lot of well-known brands that you can go ahead and partner with. Sign up for at least five of these programs. This should take you under 10 minutes because it's very easy. You just put in your name, your email and a couple of details about yourself and once you have access you can go ahead and familiarize yourself with all of the products on this marketplace. So be sure to find a couple of products that you really want to promote. Typically what I like to look for is the price of your product. So if I'm in the cosmetics industry, I'll probably go for perfume. If you happen to pick interior design as your niche, which is one of my pages, you're gonna be making a lot of money. Because think about it, if you're getting 20% of a thousand dollars so far, that means that you'll be getting $200 into your pocket from one referral. So imagine if you get just 10 of these referrals every single month, that's an extra $1,000. No. No, it's not. That's an extra $2,000 every single month. Anyway, let's not get too ahead of ourselves and move into the next part, which is setting up and optimizing your Pinterest account. So now that we have our niche and our affiliate programs ready, we're just gonna go ahead and prep our accounts. If you already have a Pinterest account, that's great. If not, go ahead and create one and change it to a business account. You can do this by going to your account settings and just changing it to a business account. And from here, we're gonna optimize the account. For the sake of today's video, I'm gonna pretend that I'm in the fashion niche. So I'm gonna be doing women's streetwear specifically. And in order to optimize it, I need to add some keywords to my name to make sure it's searchable. What I mean by this is that if someone types in women's streetwear in the search bar on Pinterest and filters it by person, I will be showing up. And if you're lazy like me, you can even use ChatGPT to write your description. I use the prompt, write me a short Pinterest description that is SEO optimized in whatever the niche is. Now from here, you can upload your cover and profile picture. If you want, this could be a picture of yourself or any picture that you find on the internet that relates to your theme. If you're extra like me, you could even use Canva and create an entire logo and banner using their templates to make your account look a lot more professional. And once you've done that, you can move into the next step, which is creating engaging pins and sharing them. So for this part, I'm gonna show you how to create or source content for your Pinterest and how to correctly add your affiliate links so you can start making money off these pins. And before you get all skeptical and think, how are people supposed to trust my Pinterest account that only has like 100 followers and make a purchase of it. On Pinterest, a lot of the time, people don't really care about how many likes or followers you have. If they see something that they like, they will wanna just go ahead 
and buy it. But yeah, let's go through my top five pin styles that I'll usually promote my affiliate links with. And I'm only gonna show you how to design my main pin type because this is a pin style that I noticed has higher conversions. And also because I don't wanna make the video super long, but don't stress because I have a really useful free tool to help you create most of these other pins really, really quickly and very easily even if you're not too artistically inclined. So what you're gonna do is sign up for a free Canva account and scroll through the Pinterest pin templates until you see something that you like. From here, you can select your pin template and start building off your vision. And the good thing about using these templates is that they're already the perfect ratio to upload on your Pinterest. But yeah, let's get into my top five pin styles. The first one, like I said, is my highest converting. So this style I call the bundle pin, which basically bundles a bunch of products together that someone will be interested in, and they're basically upsells for each other. So for this, there's unlimited options. You can create summer must-haves and have like outfit ideas which is what I do. You could put together body care so like matching scents or skincare bundles for a specific skin type or you could even put furniture that would go well together. Just anything that would make someone go oh my gosh I could see myself putting something like this together. Let me go and buy at least three of these items so I can put this outfit or this bundle or whatever it is together. These ones work really well because a lot of people don't like having to think or do like a lot of research on bundles that will go well together. A lot of people actually find it stressful to go and find outfit ideas or they find it stressful to find like a new skincare bundle or whatever it is. And if it's all in this one post and the links are conveniently attached there, they're gonna go ahead and make that purchase. Now, style number two is what is called an infographic. This one normally includes a lot more text because it's informing people on something. So depending on your niche, it would look something similar to this. Number three is literally just a fancy one product showcase. So if you have this product yourself, you can go ahead and just take some really fancy pictures of it or you can find some aesthetic pictures on the internet and just crop it out and turn it into a nice little Canva design. Now the next two content types that I normally post are the laziest ways to grow a Pinterest account, but they do work really, really well. I'm gonna explain in a second. So these are what I call repurposed content. And this is basically where you grab a whole bunch of pictures or videos from somewhere and upload them to your Pinterest. Obviously, make sure that you're tagging the original creator in all of these posts. But the good thing about repurposing an Instagram video or a TikTok video is that if you see that they've already gone viral, chances are they're very eye-catching and people will stop and click on them if they see them on Pinterest. So you're literally using what's already working. Now, just a quick tip. If you decide to repurpose TikToks on your Pinterest, make sure that you remove the watermark because a lot of platforms don't like the little TikTok logo when you repost it on their site. You can remove the watermark using TickSave, but remember to always content the creators content the creators but make sure to always credit the creators if you decide to use their content so yeah let's get into how i design my most popular pin style before i show you the right way of tagging your affiliate products this is only going to take you like five minutes to design it essentially i went on amazon and i grabbed a whole bunch of products that i really liked and i grabbed the best pictures that i could from these and i uploaded them to my canva from here i literally just removed the background placed it all together and I named the item. But the most important thing is that I didn't reveal the brand or where it was from. And this is important because people know that you know what the items are, but they're not able to come off the Pinterest platform and just Google what it is because then they can just make that purchase through Google and you won't get your commission. Whereas if you do it this way, they literally have to click the link to find out exactly what the product is. So yeah, just tweak the design, make it a little bit more eye-catching if you want to add some bold text or whatever. And from here, you're gonna save the pin download it and we can move into the next step which is actually uploading the pin so after you've downloaded your pin you're going to head back over to pinterest and you're going to upload that picture and you see this little tag right here this is going to be our money maker now this is where we're going to be adding our product affiliate link so head back over to your affiliate marketplace copy the links and paste them onto this pin this is what it's going to look like and now once you've double checked that everything looks good you can just add a simple title and a description Again, you can use ChatGPT to help you out here. And you officially have everything you need to go off and start generating cash with your Pinterest. My best advice for you is to just focus on being consistent and putting out as many of these pins as you possibly can. At least three to six pins per day to boost your reach and get yourself deep into the Pinterest algorithm. Remember that the more views you get, the more likely you are to make money. And that concludes this method. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to see more videos like these from me. Best of luck and I'll see you in the next one.